Hello everyone, welcome to Jelly's live stream. Hello everyone, welcome to Jelly's live stream on Thursday afternoon 6 p.m. Today we're going to uh, explain the price configuration of a laser cutting machine. In my career life that I've been questioned millions of times, what's the real price of a laser cutting machine? And in the past two weeks, we got many inquiries uh, asking us to give offers on single table, uh, 1 kilowatt, 2 kilowatt, and 3 kilowatt, the price. And we were facing that customers giving us different kind of uh, price list, very surprising. Some, someone from the same configuration, same laser and same machine, uh, someone offering uh, $17,000 and someone offering $30,000. So customers are quite confusing. What, what's the price difference? Why they are so big? There is a big gap of the price difference. Um, that, that may introduce you the difference between all these price differences. No matter what kind of products you are selling, we were always facing price competition. The price war never ended. It's because for all manufacturers, they have different logic. On, uh, on making their own products. Um, but like laser cutting machines, it's a bit uh, magic. There's someone like Tron for the offering price on the top and they're really excellent products. But for some brands, they like one tenth of the machine, even cheaper. So it's uh, somehow, I think it's hard to understand by new people, especially who just enter the laser field. I made this um, map explaining the main parts of the laser cutting machine. Um, it's, uh, many times I tell my customers, it's like when you go to the, the um, um, we, everybody driving a car, so you know that you can buy your engine and every part of your car in a car parts or market. Like you can buy all of these things on our on online shop. Uh, we have Alibaba shop and uh, AliExpress. So you can buy lasers, cutting head, and control, and um, motors, reducers, even gantry and table from our Ali shop. But does that mean that you can make a laser cutting machine yourself? Of course not. So it's the same. Everybody can buy all these parts in the market, but they make different laser machines. Mm. But when we're talking about laser cutting machine, uh, today we're going to talk about the entry level. I mean, a single table or at least a power less than three kilowatt. We call it entry level because it's mainly cutting thin material and it's for many people's the first machine or for people that the, the, they have already high power machine or famous brand machines, they just want to have a basic level machine uh, because it, the basic products doesn't need many years experience or um, a lot of R&D on that. So that's why we can calculate it here. Uh, for a laser cutting machine, the first important is the laser, which may be the half of the price configuration. We like for $30,000 for a cutting machine, you probably have $15,000 for laser source. So um, mm, for laser, we have IPG, Rakus, Max, and uh, many small brands here. Uh, we can name the price of uh, 1K or 1.5K or 2K or 3K. Um, when we decide the price of the machine, we just plus the laser price. We come to the price of our laser cutting machine. So um, for lasers, you can easily get the price on our Alibaba shop. We have all these parts on stock. So we have all prices uh, given and we are up updating every two weeks when, because the price of the laser is going down very quickly uh, and which is the main reason for the laser cutting machine price going down. And so we were updating these prices every two weeks and I have to see that nobody has, nobody has all the cheapest price for all these brands of lasers because for, 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 for these brands of lasers Someone has the cheapest IPG, someone has cheapest breakers, or someone has strategic partnership with Max. So um, you can get quite different price from different manufacturers if you have different laser configurations of your machine. 
So before you asking the price of the machine, you have to decide which kind of machine you want to buy. You have to decide which kind of laser and uh, which brand you're going to choose and uh, which kind of cutting head you want to choose. Press tech, reduce, uh, autofocus or manual focus. Mm, this year, many people go autofocus. Maybe manual focus was kind of popular in the last two years. But from this year, people start using autofocusing more. Maybe because the price is going down of this uh, autofocusing BM109 and uh, BM111 for different power range. Prestec and IPG, uh, these are top brands. We normally don't use them for entry level machine. So for entry level machine, the power less than 3K, we more using Chinese lasers and Chinese cutting head. So. Uh, that's what we call it the reasonable configuration. Of course, there are also people asking, I want a single table IPG and Prestec, uh, especially people, uh, customers from US or European market. There are more um, institute ads for, for those brands. But actually, for three less than three kilowatts, it's not much needed. So uh, for CNC, we have back of Cybercut and Siemens. Of, of course, for entry level, we use CyberCut mostly. And for gantry and table, we have a casting table, uh, we have plated, plate welding and pipe welding. They have diff different weight. They have different design and different weight. Different weight and different design de uh, decide the machine, the accuracy of the machine, how long it will last. So it's also very important. For motors, we have Delta, Fuji, Yaskawa, these are main brands. And price difference not big, but still they have. For reducer, uh, this is very critical and uh, it decides the accuracy of the fast moving. Accuracy of the fast moving means that if you cut one millimeter or two millimeter stainless steel, you go full speed for one kilowatt. Or if you are uh, three kilowatt, you can go like 25 meters per minute. So you go really high speed. When you cut very small circle or a very small dimension, you need good reducer to get the accuracy of the part. So for entry level, for one kilowatt, maybe it's not so critical. You can go symbol or some other brands. But if you have three kilowatt, you, you need uh, speed and you, you are not cutting the um, decoration parts. You cut industrial parts that it will be welded and uh, you need accuracy, you will go better reducer like Fasten or Alpha is too expensive. Alpha we mainly use on acceleration bigger than 2G machine. So uh, this, this is the options that we can choose for our machine. For, for all these options, um, y you, you still have to choose, you go very high level or you go really basic entry level. And so the price is very, very different. So there are many occasions that people gave me uh, a list. Well, all this configuration are, are fixed. I mean, uh, for example, he said, I want max one kilowatt. And I want cutting head uh, B, BM109, autofocusing. And I want CyberCut C2000 because C2000 support autofocusing. C1000 doesn't support autofocusing. So when we have a fixed list, I mean, people think I have decided to use a Max Laser and a CyberCut and a cutting head BM109, and I want a plate welding. Maybe normally they don't, they don't too much emphasize this. Uh, casting gantry or steel gantry, both option, uh, they, they, don't, they don't care. Motors, they ha uh, Yaskawa motors is quite famous, very famous. So people normally choose Yaskawa motors or Delta motors, very similar price. And they will choose symbol reducer. So when people give you a list saying, I want this laser, this cutting head and this control, what's your price? So that's fixed, what's the price? Still, on this fixed list, 
manufacturers give in very different price. I'm not going to see names, but manufacturers from Gina, they have really, really surprising and uh, attractive price. And uh, factories like us uh, from Wuhan or from South China and from Suzhou, we have normally more expensive price than them. Um, I'm also asking myself why. And we are not small difference. Like we, for one kilowatt, for this kind of lease, we will quote at least uh, 25, 23 to 25,000 depend dollars, uh, depending on the uh, weight of the table, the way that how you build that. So, but they can go like, uh, someone goes 17 or even less than 17 for the same settings of the machine. And I don't know what's the difference between this. We were a difference of like uh, six, uh, six thousand dollars, which is a lot for this kind of machine because all the brands has been fixed. So what's the difference between this? Uh, for sure, one thing: people are not losing money to do business with you. Uh, even they sell at this price, they still making profits. I'm sure, and, and I don't know how they make profits because for this price, we are hardly to put everything together. There is one thing I think we can explain this price difference. For laser cutting machine, this is a, the example I gave is a very basic level. And for this level, we have to say that no R&D will be made on this machine. You just buy all the parts and plug them and make them running. So it's actually, you don't need to buy from big names uh, like Trump for, you know, very famous companies like Hans or Pantelis from China. You, you, but you can buy from really, really small factories. They probably have just eight to 10 employees and they can make this machine. So we know that for running a manufacturing company, you have the managing cost because you have standards and you have people, administrative people and a purchase department and you have to get everything in stock and uh, you need to guarantee the quality and consistency of the machine for every machine that go out of your factory. So that's also a cost. Maybe we, we cannot calculate it here, but we have, uh, we have not fixed. These are fixed cost. Someone buy cheap lasers, someone more expensive, but not that different. But for the managing cost, it's very different. Managing cost, the factory, they have to rent and uh, people, the salary are different in different city and uh, people, number of people and uh, the procedures, the quality testing before delivering. So this managing cost is somehow not saying here, but it's very important for your machine. Uh, like the one that we, we delivered last week to Russia, the machine was made in a medium sized uh, factory. It's not a top level who make uh, fast moving, high, high dynamics back of machines. And of course, it's not a very small company with few people, employees. It's a medium sized and they're very specialized in making that kind of machine. So we believe that they have the best managing cost on making this type of machine. So this is somehow my explanation to the price difference of different machines. I mean, um, customer, you know, you, you cannot satisfy all the customers. Our logic, uh, our philosophy is to making uh, not so long lasting because it's just an entry level machine, but we want to make the machine without headache. I mean, we don't want to make one time business with you. Uh, like uh, even 17K, we can buy a machine from the market and ship to you. but we're kind of in, in a headache that how, how we provide service for you because you, you're going to have a lot of calls from, from your customers and uh, you're going to, to be crazy when you install the machine. There are many things missing or many plaques were, are not standard. So this is not the way that we want to do business. We, we don't want to sell that much, but we want to have long-term partners that we gave not the most um, expensive machines, not the best quality, but we gave, we believe is the less headache machine. Because I've been selling like so many years lasers. I'm, I'm really uh, sick of getting calls from customers in trouble. So 
we, we better doing the business in a way that we, we do it decently. So we gave you the machine, we deliver, and we think you will have not that much trouble and uh, at a very good cost. So this is the philosophy we're holding for this entry level machine. If you go high level, like uh, six kilowatt or eight kilowatt, you will need very high uh, acceleration speed and you will also need fast piercing and uh, uh, heat control during the cutting on thick my steel and you need many other knowledge that's that's an r d so for that kind of machine you cannot buy for price who sell you cheapest that's a different different thing you need to buy that machine according to the company's performance on this and they they should have um, continuously investment on R&D on that. So when we go uh, back off control or Siemens or like uh, uh, Penta, they have drone control. So for that kind of machine, you for sure need to buy from, um, buy for quality, not for price. We will not in this bargaining. So this is the explanation for the price difference of different machines. That's all for today. Thank you. Thank you for your time.